Welcome. What is this? 224 plus 225. It's kind of a double header because both the people that we're interviewing, uh, both of my guests are in the same salon spa company, and that's why it's going to be awesome. Uh, yes, we are still in search of awesome, and every time we find the awesome, we bring it up to, 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 uh, to uh, share some of the secret awesome in the awesome. Oh, my God, I'm a poet. I don't even know it. Kate Wood is our first guest tonight. She is a level three SD dash nail artist. She's blowing it up. Uh, Aspiration Salon and Day Spa in Marshalltown, Ohio. Salon owner Tasha. Tasha is going to be up when uh, when we're done having our conversation uh, with uh, with Kate, and we'll go on a little tour in the spa. It's got some really cool. High-end, specialized stuff that we want to show you. And the coach is Shelby, guys. So uh, I think she blew in my ear and said that you got to go talk to Kate because uh, she is a Jedi, and she is. Look at you guys. In 19, 20 grand, she is trending. Are you ready for this? To quadruple, quadruple her freaking income, man. Blowing it up. On the front end of 30 sec, uh, for 30 something, she's got four kitty cats, four kiddos. So she's got a lot going on in her life. Look at that average ticket, 102 bucks. Referrals cooking at about 12 a month. Do the math, you guys. That's just under 150 referrals a year. You'll see why once we get her talking about her high high end services. She's rebooking at about 72. Look at the retail, 33 percent. That's got to be something that. Uh, She's going to kind of get on the, on, on the product boat for us, right? So uh, she does all this uh, at 27 hours a week. And as I said, she's, uh, she's got four kiddos in her life. So Kate's got a lot going on. She's going to take us on a ride through her story. But her timeline is graduates high school in 07, SD school in 09, nail school in uh, 2012, uh, starts at um, Aspirations uh, as an associate in 18, She's uh, at level three now, and as I said, she's trending um, to, uh, to blow it up. So uh, it, it's, it's nothing short of uh, amazing. Um, if you're not following her, on fa Facebook's her first platform of choice, uh, and then uh, 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 Instagram as well. So she, uh, she uses the bomb, iPhone 11, got about a couple thousand followers on, uh, on, uh, her, in her social media com community, she says 25% come from Instagram and Facebook. I, I, would, I bet if I went on an archaeological dig, i got to believe that she's got uh, more coming from that. But that's, that's another conversation. Uh, she is uh, in our green room now. I'm going to bring her out. We're going to get her talking about a little bit about her life. And then I'm going to have her. She's doing some real interesting things with some high-end premium SD services inside of the spa. I'm going to see if I can get her talking about that as well. So um, keep your fingers crossed. You always say a little prayer that the Wi-Fi gods are being nice to us as we go and see if we can find Kate. There she is there. We're going to unmute her, and you're going to make her feel very welcome, you guys. <laughs> How are you? I'm so good. Did you hear me bragging on you? I did a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I know you've had a, a, a full day. You have a very full life. Mm -hmm. um, and so thank you for coming on tonight and spending some time with us. Oh, I so appreciate you having me. <laughs> oh, I, I, we, I've been, we've both been looking forward to uh, your presence. So this is big for both of us. Well, Kate, as I said to you before, we always start with the story because the story gives us an appreciation, some inspiration, and a vision of what's possible. So get us started on you. On you. Who are you and how did a wonderful person like you wind up in where you're at now? Well, um, I have always loved beauty things. So I kind of, that's kind of how I got into the school. I graduated in 2000, or yeah, 2009. Um, and in school, they said, you know, SD is kind of hard to do on its own where we're at. So, you know, recommended that I do the nail as well. And at that time I wasn't interested. Um, so I just kind of did my thing with, um, skin for a little while until I decided, you know, maybe I'm going to give this nail thing a try. Maybe marrying the two together, I can really, you know, come alive, I guess. 
Um, so I had been a few places, um, and really after I had my, my baby, um, I realized that I didn't want to work my whole life. You know, I wanted to spend time with him and, um, making money part-time is, is hard as an, uh, in a salon, in a spa. Um, so I decided to try, um, booth rental and I thought maybe that would, <laughs> complete me, right? I could do my thing at the salon, but also be a mom. This is, you know, my main goal. So um, I took out a credit card to get started because I had no money. <laughs> so um, I bought all my product, all my startup and everything. And I was just so desperate to get that income and to get people in that I wasn't charging my worth. I was really mm -hmm. just giving everyone a discount because I wanted everyone to come in and see me. And so I wasn't really charging what I was worth. And that led to burnout after a few years. And I actually just wanted to be completely done doing skin and nails altogether. So, so by, by the end of that ride, you're, you're worn out, you're disillusioned, right? So somewhere, I mean, this was which like is 10 years in. Oh, and that, yeah, yeah. 10 years in and the family, you got, you got a lot going on in your life. And so how did the transition happen from the back end of a not so good ride to a great ride? Like, how did you wind up from there to at Aspirations? Um, well, um, when I found out we were pregnant with our second baby, um, I kind of didn't feel like a strong purpose. I mean, I felt the purpose as being a mom, but I didn't feel the purpose as a um, provider to help um, put food on our table, you know, to kind of make ends meet. We had a lot of debt we needed to take care of. So I just, I'm a sign girl. I just asked for a sign. I just said, I need some clarity <laughs> and something to bring me back, like to fulfill my life um, on the backside of being a mom and a wife. So um, I'm not kidding you. I logged onto Facebook the very next day and there was an ad for an esthetician at Aspirations. Wow. <laughs> and I was like, no way. <laughs> and I listened. And so I messaged Tasha right away and I just said, hey, I'm interested. I saw your ad that you're hiring for someone to do skincare. Can we meet up? And that's kind of how it started. Wow. So I, I hope that the, uh, the Summit Salon Spa owners are hearing this because number one, advertising on Facebook in your community that you're, that's the first time I've heard what a great way to recruit. You see it, you reach out to her, you begin a conversation and that's where you kind of end the ride on the last chapter and you start on ramping this new, this new chapter. Was that the turning point? Because Kate, there's always a turning point. There's always the something happens, the, you know, the trajectory changes, we kind of wake up. Was that your wake up and if so what happened in in that that was definitely my wake up i listened 100 percent yeah um so basically when we had our meeting she told me what was possible within you know the summit levels i had no idea really what that meant um i just told her i need 500 dollars a month i need 500 dollars a month to put food on the table to pay mm -hmm. off little credit you know to pay little bits on our credit cards and to pay for daycare so that I could, you know, come home with a full bucket from work and be a mom and, you know, pour into my family. Mm. Um, so $500 a month is all I needed. And that's kind of where it all started. Um, I started using the Summit book. I'm a total planner. And um, when I kind of went through that budget sheet in the back, I was able to find my magic number for one, but for two, I realized that we were negative $800 a month after all of our bills. Well, so every month you were $800 more behind, right? The harder, it's a, that the harder I work, the behinder I get. Wow. What kind of realization was that? I mean, it was completely insane. I just, you know, I told Tasha, I'm, I'm not going to lie, I, just, I made her laugh and I said, I give you one year and if you can't make this work, I'm completely done. I can't, I have to find something else. So, so the, 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 the race begins and mm -hmm. then from there, like, did you, did you, did I would get that right? Did you start as an associate and kind of work your way up? 
Yep. So oh, wow. I did start as an associate um, just to, so, okay, let me back you up because I started at Aspirations when I was 36 weeks pregnant with our youngest. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I just went through four weeks of just really training, associate training. I had a clientele base. I really just had to, you know, kind of message everybody and tell them where I was at and hope and pray that they would trust me to come back yeah. and um, that's just kind of where it started. So, you know, this is called a miracle unfolding, right? So fast forward, you've been there now, how, how long? Uh, uh, it'll be two years or wait, it'll be three years. Yeah. And so, so we're, yeah, it's We're coming up to 36 months. So tell mm -hmm. us what your life is like now compared to when you came in at $800 a month going on and on and on. Um, what's it like to be you now? So now I am much happier. I'm not as stressed because we've paid off all of our consumer debt. We only owe on our house and our cars now, which we're working on. Um, but we don't owe little credit cards. And that is a big relief, you know, when you don't have to make silly little payments of $25 here and there um, and hope that your bank account doesn't withdraw. So it was... So now, you know, with all of that off, you know, I can do little things like go shoe shopping with my girls if I want to. You know, I never was able to really do that before. In, in, in other words, money is energy and allows us to bring good things into the lives of people we care about more, better, faster. And what I hear you saying is, yeah, it's the little things are the big things. I can, you know, go shopping with my children now and, and serve them in a whole new way. That's yep, a big deal. Exactly. That's a very mm -hmm. big deal. So it sounds like that this is called like, you know, a rags to riches kind of, you know, story, right? Um, so what's in it? What's next for you? Where do you go from here? Um, I mean, I would love to hit my level four numbers by the end of the year. And I like am like really excited to, to teach someone everything that I've done. And so I'm hoping that I can have an associate in 2021. So that's next for Kate is associate. Um, so there's a whole bunch of people watching now. There's going to be a whole lot of people people watching over the next few days and all the places on the internet that we're going to place this interview. They're looking at you, you know, listening to you, certainly identifying with you, relating to you. And but they're saying, look, I'm not where she's at. I'm at where she was. I wonder if I take the shot like she did, what are my chances to get where she's at? What might you say to them that would compel them to take the shot? Um, I think the biggest difference to me is surrounding myself with positive people. Um, if you find your tribe, love them hard, you say. Um, so, you know, my team, the team here that we have is so uplifting and it's just, you know, we celebrate little wins. We, you know, somebody to vent to that's, that was the, that's the biggest thing for me is really just to find someone to help you celebrate the little things. And like you said before, the little things add up to the big things. Yeah. So, you know, that's, that's what really changed for me is surrounding myself with positive. So yeah. And wonderful. It's a, it's a beautiful, beautiful story. Now I, I have you here. And while I have you in front of me, I, I want to get a couple of spoonfuls of uh, secret sauce and I was on your Facebook page, and I, I, I see it looks like you're branding yourself as a kind of a higher end premium esthetician nail artist. But I, I pulled something that you posted on the back end of August, and it was some before and after pictures of a service that you were doing. And, and basically, you said dermatol. Dermological retina oil before and afters. I call myself the acne training, which is that's pretty, pretty uh, ac acne trainer, pretty gritty. How are you using? First of all, what what are the services you're using and, and, and the equipment and how does this translating in what I'm looking at? Um, OK, so we use a service called Hydrofacial and really what that does is it just like deep cleans the pores, exfoliates. Um, we infuse serums just, you know, for hydration. Um, so, you know, the good thing is getting all of the bad out to promote healing on the skin, which we use 
another another service that we have that's called the um, topical light and it's a light it's called from light wave and that heals the skin on a cellular level so you know we kill the bacteria that causes the acne we set up a treatment plan for home and that's really where the kind of the success is we get them on a regimen and we use that product at home and then you know the results come wow yeah and i, I that was the other post that i saw you actually have um this piece of equipment that you use. By the way, what what would be? I, you're in Marshalltown, uh, Marshalltown, Iowa. What would be a, a price point for something as high end as a uh, hydrofacial? Um, they start at one forty nine. Got it. And depending on how far they go, where where would be the top price on a level three? Um, top price on a level three is one sixty three. Got it beautiful beautiful now you you've got also a couple of other things you said that with regard to retail you're like blowing it up what are you doing in retail that's making a difference um i love people and i love hearing their story and kind of getting into their life what their routine looks like with their kids or with their job um so what what their product lineup could look like, whether it's really big or it's really small, really simple things. Um, you know, getting to know their beauty budget, we can switch out one product at a time or we can just go all in. Um, so it's really just getting to know my guest and what they need, but offering has been the biggest thing for me because, you know, if you don't offer it, they don't know. Right. And if they don't right. know, then the answer is always no, right? So right, we just, right. I've really been comfortable offering right. retail to I'm, my guests. I'm hearing a word a lot, and you used it in your, in your descript, and, and that is beauty budget. That, you, you know, you first of all decide the total ride, the makeover, and then mm -hmm. some people, I want, it, I want the full meal deal like right now. Some people, either because of time and or money, mm -hmm. Uh, you know, that that's the pushback. And you're saying, well, we work that through. Let's put a plan together to stretch this out. And uh, the term I'm hearing is beauty budget. And, and it all of that happens in the consultation. Yes. Wow. So what about referrals? I mean, you're running at like just this side of 100 referrals, 150 referrals a year. What's that about? So I am I'm a belly to belly girl. I just like to straight up ask. Um, you know, if you love your results, I would love to see your friends or your family kind of thing. And I just share our referral program that we have. Um, when you kind of put into perspective what is in it for them, then I feel like they're more likely to gravitate to that. Um, so, you know, the more people you come in, the more money you get as a referral that you can use towards your services, which works into their beauty budget. I love it. I love how this is working. Well, listen, we're we're out of time, but you got to promise me you'll come back to see me, uh, I because I, I I maybe we'll come back to see us when uh, you're you've got uh, you're working with an associate and now you're starting to build a, a lineage under yourself where all your 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 uh, midwifing all of these associates that are uh, you pro I probably shouldn't use that term to a mother of four because you're saying no I, I got enough kids and I'm saying no no where you grow <laughs> growing people for a living. No, I'm really excited. I'm so thankful to be on here. All right, wonderful. Well, it's good to have you. I'm I'm going to mute you, and I'm going to uh uh and then um, Tasha could can kind of get set up, and I'm just going to summarize our conversation, and then I'll come back to get Tasha. Sounds good. Well, we're, we're going to give it up for you one more time, though. You did well. Um, I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Sounds good. Okay. That was great, you guys. I think um, I, I think the, 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 big, the big deal to me on that was, um, as an esthetician, she's shooting for a high level, a higher level price point and corrective. When I was looking at those pictures, if I didn't know any different, there's that close line between, you know, being an SD. Some of that stuff, you know, you're not supposed to use words like look corrective to me. And if you can't use the word corrective, very, very, very therapeutic, and I think that's what's responsible for uh, her uh, hitting the mark. So give it up for her one more time. Now, 
double header tonight because we're in the same salon and I really wanted to uh, uh, not just interview, but uh, have Tasha take us on a tour because she's really set up the spa in a way that makes the uh, makes all of that possible. So well, let me tell you about uh, uh, Tasha and I, I want to make sure her she's got the, a beautiful last name that I do it Schnatterst. and she'll uh, she is the owner uh, and a licensed massage therapist and an SD uh, of Aspiration Salon and Day Spa, Marshalltown. Uh, and again, the coach is Shelby. Guys, Shelby's the one that kind of blew in my ear and said, Michael, you got to come and take a, a take a peek at these guys. I think she's been on a great roll. So she's, uh, you know, at, at, in 16, she's at a couple hundred thou. In uh, 19, She's uh, just uh, just on, uh, over uh, 500, so she's been on a great roll. I think she came to Summit somewhere in here in her life change. I'm going to let her kind of tell you about that. Stats are, you know, she's running at a $90 average ticket in the salon. Uh, haircut base price is 34 I mean, you do the math on that. That salon's running three times higher on their average ticket than uh, their uh, base haircut. Look at this, 23%. Referral, 15% salon new. I would say that she, that, I mean, when you, you know, you do the math on that, what is that, uh, 33, that's just this side of 40% of all of her new guests are first timers. She's, she's branded th that, the reputation of this, that salon, and I'll quiz her a little bit about how she got those numbers to that. Is, um, is 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 amazing, and she's rebooking at sixty percent. This is why she's growing at such a, just a very very beautiful beautiful pace. Now, um, oh, and RTS is at just a side of twenty five percent as a salon. You guys, I mean that's like blowing it up big time. So she uh, she'll tell you her story. Graduates in the nineties uh, and uh, massage school in 08. Opens up uh, the the uh, salon spa in uh, 13, graduates from SD school after she's got the salon opened up. She attends her first summit in 2016, and um, you can see that the rest is, I mean, look at those jumps from there. So she is just a, a poster child, if you will, for what's possible when, uh, you know, you, you decide you're going to take it up. You're going to want to follow um, these guys on uh, their, their handles on um, Instagram and Facebook is uh, at uh, Aspirations, and um, you, I, you're going to find that the, they're they're really in the in the game big big time. Now, I got her in the green room. I'm going to bring her out of the green room and get her talking about her story. And then she, she I asked her if she could take us on a tour tonight, do something special, um, and be and show us some of the some of her higher end equipment. She's really made some major investment in the spa part. And that's what's driving her ticket up. So let me go get her and uh, make sure that, uh, again, we'll see if the, we're really pushing the envelope on the whole Wi-Fi God thing. So I'll get it here. I'll unmute her. I think she's there. You're going to make her feel welcome, you guys. Now she's in the house. How are you? Great, Michael. How are you? Good. Thank you for, first of all, allowing Kate to come on and you and I were chatting uh, in between this and I just I, I had this intuitive hunch I want to I want you to come on to, to meet the world and, and uh, show us some of your stuff. Well thank you for having me. Well before you take us on a little tour tell us about who you are and how you got to the place that you're at right now. What it was like you know what kind of happened and what it's like now. Sure. I was working as a recruiter for a staffing agency when I was looking for a part-time job, found a position recruiting for a massage school, and I thought it was just a natural fit. And uh, I'd been there a month or two, and I thought it would be interesting to take a class so I knew what I was talking about. And I was going through a stressful time in my life, and I realized you get a lot of free massage in massage school. Sign me up. No <laughs> kidding. That's a true story. Really? So um, you, you decided to take take a massage ride? Yep, absolutely. Wow. So I was there um, during the middle of my program. They asked me to come on board full time as the dean of the massage school. And then when I graduated, they didn't want to lose me. So we had a lot of flexibility. 
in my schedule, I had a private practice just a few minutes away and I could go back and forth between the school and my private practice. Wow. So you're, yeah. a de- you're a dean of the massage school and then you, you started a practice not far away nope. from uh, the school. Correct. Amazing. And then I met my husband. <laughs> and I met my husband, moved about an hour away. So the commute got old very quickly. So we started looking for a room to rent. And we were approached that there was a salon in town that was closing and if we wanted to take over it. So really, by the time we took over, it was pretty much just buying their assets, taking over the location. We rebranded under a completely different name and a new business. Wow. So, um, what, what, where did it happen? I, I know that somewhere in here you were ch- telling me that you, you got plugged into Summit. I want to hear that story. But after you plugged in, that was like the, the nitroglycerin on the bonfire. Sure. I was in about two years and I'd really pretty much maxed out um, what I could do as a massage, a full-time massage therapist. And yet we were struggling. I was, um, I needed more income. And so we started looking into me going to uh, aesthetics and I thought my husband was going to think I was crazy, but he was like, I think that's the best thing ever. Um, And so once I graduated aesthetics, I knew that we wanted to set ourselves apart and um, somehow I convinced him to let us invest in some of this higher end equipment. Um, So I had been licensed uh, as an esthetician for about a year and I grew that practice relatively quickly. And I was bringing in close to six figures and I still wasn't paying myself a dime and I knew that something had to change. And that's when I found out about Summit. And how, it changed how, by my the way, life. yeah, and that is really, I mean, I love the part that, and my heart goes out to you. I am, I'm bringing in darn near six figures a year. I had to use that cash flow to subsidize my business and it's still not enough. And, and then all of a sudden somebody blows in your ear about this thing called Summit. By the way, who was that person that, kind of brought your first wave of mindfulness that there might be a place you can go and get some help. Erica McCullough. I've never met her. Um, We have some mutual friends from my hometown and I actually went to school with her brother-in-law, but we were in some mutual salon, uh, salon owner groups. And she told me you got to check it out. Wow. And she's, I mean, I follow her on my newsfeed daily. Did you guys meet, did you meet online or did you meet some? Oh my God. On Facebook? Yep. yep, on Facebook. Oh, and that now you guys are like besties in that community because I, I follow, you know, and you follow my work. So isn't that interesting how that works? There's a whole world now, you know, on social. Yeah. It's, it's well, amazing. she'd actually lived in Marshalltown too. So she, when she told me she knew my demographic, she, she wasn't lying. She, she, wasn't, she really yeah. knew it. No, she's a, uh, she's a good soul. So fast forward you're here now, right, in this place, and this place sounds like it's substantially better than the place you were at financially, and the other day you were kind of telling me about how that's changed your life. In in a nutshell, tell me how it has changed your life, like, in real time now. Well, sure. I mean, everything about Summit, you know, I had some management experience prior, so I, I have an international management degree, but yet the salon industry is just, it's a unique beast and I couldn't figure it out. So Summit really gave me the systems, they gave me the budget. Um, one of my biggest frustrations when I first opened is as a massage therapist, my massage school told me no more than 20 to 25 hours of hands-on work a week because it's just so physical. So I knew being someone who's motivated, I want to do 25 hours. When I would ask stylists or other service professionals what their schools recommend, you know, did they give you any kind of goals? No one could answer that. And so I didn't have any goals for my team. And that's what Summit really provided is those concrete goals. You know how to earn a promotion. This is what you need to do in order to achieve that. Right. Yeah. It's it's very, you can touch it. You can yes. see it, you can feel it, you can talk about it, you can taste it, you can smell it, and you can and, and you, you, what gets measured gets improved. Now, you said something interesting, mentioned that you had a degree, in, in, but you, you couldn't see, you needed someone or a resource to help you to apply what you learn in school. It, like, it, it's a different play in the salon and spa business. Absolutely, 100%. So what's next? Where do you go from here? 
Well, um, yesterday we just got a new state-of-the-art clinical LED machine. We've invested in a lot of uh, fun equipment for the team. Um, this year we just moved into our new space, which is absolutely beautiful. Um, we're at a point where we can have fun with it. It's no longer, I mean, we still stress, but it's not, um, you know, I'm paying myself, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, we're just at a point where we can have fun. I love it. I love it. So I want to jump from here into you. you the, the What inspired uh, a tour tonight was you were telling me about this new piece of equipment. And it sounds like it's kind of like it's leveling up the service experience to a more premium price services, specifically in the esthetician part of your uh, your spa. Yep. As Kate was talking about, we have the Hydra Facial at a level three. She's $163. Um, level four jumps to $171. Um, what's really awesome about Hydra Facial is, you know, we believe in it and it has some amazing boosters for even added benefit. Um, so those range between $45 and $85. And then with the light, we actually, with the topical light infusion, it's also another enhancement of up to $75. So most of our service, a level one service professional, I mean, it's easy for them to have a $250 to $300 ticket. And it's the great thing about it is it's a service that we believe in. So um, it, it's just easy to show the results and the guests love it. They request it and it just really helps Helps our service team with their income. Oh yeah, and you you used a real term I've not heard it used before, but I love it. Booster, a booster rather than an add-on, right? Or a trade. Yep. No, it, it and it sounds like we're going to boost more intensity in this service so that uh, you can see more. Of it, it, it the service shows up more. Absolutely, so I, I love it. It's all about words, isn't it? We you know with yep. our words we make our world. So can you take us on a tour? I can. I love it. We're going to give it up for uh, Tasha for doing this. So we don't do this very often, Tosh. We, we, so this is a big deal. Let me just sneak through here. So there's still some services being done in the treatment room. So we'll get. So what all do you want to see? You want to see a treatment room? You want to yeah. see the bed? I know you want to yeah, see the yeah, bed. Yeah. Show us your treatment room. Show us the new, the new, I don't want to call it toy, the new money pump that you bought. And uh, we'll go from there. So here is one of our treatment rooms. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, yeah. Turn yeah. On the light. yeah. If you want to, you can, can you flip your camera so that uh, you can hold it and we can see it that way? Or does that, does this work better for you? Um, no, you got it. No, don't do don't do anything because it's working for you. I love it. Perfect. So that's our hydrofacial machine and our original topical light infusion um, LED machine that we partner them with. So I love it. Um, and, and the great so, thing about LED is NASA's involved with the research. So so really what, cool. what, what 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 kind of investment are we um, are we talking about? That panel was about twelve thousand um, dollars. The hydrofacial, a new hydrofacial machine. I think they're around thirty-five thousand right now. Wow! And then I'll show you our new LED machine. I got a little bit of a deal, but they start at sixty thousand dollars. Whoa! Um, whoa! 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 So that's a that's a big. And so this is really what's making the what's kind of leveled up your branding. Yeah. So the bed we just got yesterday. Literally, I mean. We haven't even got the room completely set up yet, but look, give me one second. Let me show you. Uh, there's all sorts of settings on here. Let me see if I can get here. There we go. Yeah. Uh, so tell so, me what, what is it? This is what kind of bed is this? Is this a, and so, and what was this investment? This is an LED, LED bed. It's the NV LED, LED bed by Lightwave. Yes. Um, light therapy, basically, it's healing on a cellular level. Um, it can increase the rate that the body repairs itself by up to 300 times. Wow. So it's just going to help with pain. It can help with aging. Um, if you look through some of the settings on the bed, um, we have repair and rejuvenate, which is a red and infrared combination um, for pain management. Yes. Are you able to see or is there a yeah. glare there? Yeah, a little bit of a glare, but that's, a, I think we, I get what you're really pointing to. What, 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 what's the uh, price point on a service like this? What do you call the service and how much time do you schedule out when somebody wants the service? 
Sure. The, we're going to be pricing it at $125 for an individual treatment. Um, and then right now we're going to be having a promotion for $75. Um, and then we're also going to be offering, we know the benefits that if you come in on a frequent basis uh, about every other day that you're going, to, they build on each other. So you're going to get even more benefits. So we're actually putting together some really stellar deals, like a $500 for um, a month unlimited, uh, unlimited being up to three times a week. That's the maximum dosage, um, just so that we can really jumpstart it. I so see. about $500. So so really, there it's really kind of a, a regime, a package of three over a mm -hmm. period. What's that window of time? Uh, uh, you get three of these services over a period of. You told me, but I one didn't, week. One week. One week. And yep. and um and so uh what and and that the investment uh, that price point runs at around five hundred. Is that what you said? But we're going to do, like I said, for the first 20 people who sign up, we're doing 500 for a month. So three times a week for a month. Wow. Um, yeah. So and, and, and the investment in this, that particular piece of equipment that you showed us is what, what was that? What's your commitment to that? It start, I got a special, but it starts at $60,000. OK, got it. And so um, that that. That and 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 so will this be one more service and piece of equipment that you know the Kate Woods of the world would be using to build her practice? So we're going to do two things. So we have just the facial panel aspect of this that they are using in their treatment room right now. This offers a full body service, but further with COVID, we're actually going to start implementing a DIY facial treatment where the guests can basically come in. We've already done um, a consultation. We've put them under the skin scan. We have looked at, you know, talked to them what their concerns are, and then we're able to customize a treatment where Basically, we're going to put the products into the room. They basically are going to do the face, cleanse their skin themselves, go, get in the bed, and finish their um, moisturizer, toners, SPFs, and leave. And they don't even have to see anyone for those who are still scared of uh, COVID. Yeah, and and it sounds like there's a, a retail regime take home to support uh, the, kind of the longevity of whatever the benefits are from that particular service. Absolutely. Now, what 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 kind of training do you get on the front end? Because that, I mean that looks very specialized to me. That's very sure. very very specialized. We work with our associates, and we actually have um, training through the company. Um, we didn't do it with the bed because we're already um, trained in the the panel. But we went out to Phoenix for a two day training when we originally started with the company. Um, and then yeah, right now we just teach our associates in person. Wow. Wow. This is very, you want to see how bright it is? Yes. One second to start this baby up. Wow. It, it, and so it, it, how would, how is this different? I, I know enough about this to make me dangerous, but that's huge. It's like, so that's not, it's not a tanning bed. It is a therapeutic bed where things get, there's a healing, there's therapy happening there. Correct. There's over 24,000 LED lights, which are 100% healing. There's no UV in them. Wow. Wow. So you, uh, what kind of, you, I would imagine you're going to get some press on this in your local town uh, because you're, you're, you've kind of leveled up to uh, uh, dermatology, dermatologists. We keep it within our scope, but yeah, we 100%, we push the boundaries just right there on the edge of what we can get away with. Yeah, I love it. Well, this has been uh, this has been a real treat that you're uh, have you did you and you've shown us that th this is your this is your I'm going to call it highly unique sustainable value added point of difference for aspiration, huh? No, absolutely. It's it's been fun. You know, um, a lot of people told us you can't do this in a small town, uh, middle of, of Iowa, and. Um, just proving them that, yeah, we can, you know, people were driving to Des Moines or bigger cities to have these services. And now we can offer those to our community. I love it. Well, we're, we're, we're out of time, but I'm going to bring you back for an encore to uh, like, once you get this built into the rhythm of things, uh, it's going to be interesting to see uh, how, how much this is. I call it, you, you're, you're reimagining the spa business. You're reinventing it kind of, predicting the future, the trend, by creating it. 
No, thank you. Thank you. Nice. Well, I'm gonna I know it's been a long day for you. I'm gonna let you get back to the fam and everything. Thank you for coming on. And uh, thank you. I'll summarize once you leave. Thank you for having me. It's been, well, you're well, an inspiration. <laughs> all right. Well, we're gonna give you we're gonna give it up for Ms. Dasha one more time. All right, excellent. I love it. How about that? That was a nice little uh, a, a nice little treat to her. I think she's on the edge. I, I think she's like, and is kind of almost skating where the puck is going to be in her spa services. And um, it's going to be interesting to see where she takes us. She is, uh, I would say, on the very front end of the innovation curve. She is a early adopter, you know, uh, times times ten, a, a real innovator. So let's give it up for her one more time. Now. All right, well, it's a great show tonight. Um, a, a lot uh, going on. I love the, uh, the, uh, the, the, it, the crossing of the esthetician uh, discipline with the uh, nail uh, uh, discipline for Kate and then Tasha. She, you know, starts as a licensed massage therapist, levels up to an esthetician. It sounds like she's moving. It's like those, when you cross-pollinate that, it's like a, a one plus one is ten. So... Very, very, very interesting interview. Uh, um, and so uh, th 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 it brings us to our end. It's always good to see uh, people show up. And uh, it sounds like you got good. You blew up my board tonight as well. Charles is on. Charles, good to see you. And he was, he's seeing it's amazing. So if you're going to amaze Charles Dudley, uh, you know it's amazing on steroids. So good to see you. Well, I'm going to say good night, let you get back to your fams and, and um, uh, the rest of your evenings. And we will be back next with uh, uh, more guests. I've got some really cool people coming that I want to turn you on to. Peter Millard and Tess Millard, by the way, are on my radar screen. Uh, I was just talking to them today. It's kind of the interview before the interview. That's going to be a big night. And uh, that, I think we're a couple of weeks away. I'm doing a special edition on them. On uh, It's a Tuesday. I think it's the last Tuesday of, uh, of September. So you know, keep your, your, your calendars marked. Uh, very good evening. Uh, have a great one, and we will see you soon.